All right. Hello, fellows and ladies. Uh, it's time to review Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel is a Marvel show on Disney Plus about a young lady named Kamala Khan who becomes a big old superhero or a little old superhero because she's a, she's a little, she's a little lady. Like a little, little like a small child. And you know what? Listen. I got some issues with these MCU shows. I think Moon Knight was kind of bland, was, you know, kind of fine. It was good. And then it went all, hey, hippo. It's like, oh, okay. Loki was pretty fucking awesome. WandaVision was great until it wasn't, but then Falcon Winter Soldier was kind of okay. Hawkeye was okay. What If was okay. A lot of okay shows. And Ms. Marvel is not okay it's fucking great i loved it i loved this show start to finish i loved it i was like i was getting shaky when the when i clicked the finale i was like oh no i don't want to i don't want to go from loving this show to like despising it okay not despising but like loving it less after one division but no that's not what happened the show just gripped me from the first second the first second the show started i can tell what it was going for its style was very fun and unique and i was like yep i'm in i want it i i, I like the show already iman Vellani is great i loved her i loved her as kamala she was very fun and like energetic and super easy to root for you know what i mean like she's just such a quirky not like annoyingly quirky but like kind of like this fun quirky little uh girl and it was she was super fun to root for uh, you know the other characters aren't, you know, this is not a perfect show by any stretch of the imagination. This is not going to change the world. The flaws aren't anything big. Like, it's like, all right, other than Kamala, none of the other characters are necessarily standout-ish, but I can let that slide because it's, it's Kamala's story. And I love how focused it is. Like, yeah, there's some, there's some, you know, and there's some wide scale MCU stuff that they have to address. But like other than that, it's very centered and focused on Kamala, which is what I want in these Marvel shows and these Marvel movies. Why, you know, I, I'm not I'm not doing a full review of Thor Love and Thunder because at this point who gives a shit. But um it's something like Thor, where it was super centered. That's why I liked it. And this is it's super centered and focused on Thor. I liked Ms. Marvel because it was super focused and centered on Ms. Marvel or Kamala Khan. And it didn't feel like any of that, like, stuff I don't like about the MCU. It, it wasn't there. It was just its own thing, and it was fun and a blast to watch. Uh, do I think it has Emmy potential? You might be asking yourself. Um, Not really. It's a little too, like, I don't want to say childish, but, like, it's a little too, like, it, I, there's the uh, argument that, like, it feels like a Nickelodeon show, which I don't think is unfounded, even though I don't agree. I, I don't think it's really an Emmy player above the line, except for maybe Iman Balani. I can maybe, if the competition is kind of weak, which I don't foresee being the case, because if Rachel Brosnan comes back or G Smart comes back, plus my Rudolph and Lutz, yeah, I don't know. And if, if, if the show even goes comedy, but I think Iman Balani is probably his best shot above the line in terms of that. Anyway, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't need Emmys because the show's great. It's other than Loki, it's my favorite MCU show so far. And I I hope there's a second season. I genuinely do. This is a very love, very fun show to watch. And I'm gonna say Ms. Marvel is a I'm going eight and a half out of ten. All right, that's it. That's the end of that. Um like, subscribe, and share the video. Or you know what's going to happen? We're going to get a Falcon the Winter Soldier Season 2. We don't want that.